Hey everyone, welcome to a new series that I've wanted to do for a while. It's just about MS and living with MS, doing stuff to get better, and stuff that I've done that doesn't work, and maybe tips and tricks, well, tips for people that just got MS, or even people that's had it for a while, because having this disease, you never know, you might try something different that you may have never thought of, and then you get better, or you get worse. Either way, you tried something new, and that's always something that's good when you have this disease, trying new stuff. First off, I've had MS since I was 19, so my entire adult life, I've had symptoms since I was about 9. Sucks, but yeah, I've had symptoms that long. I think about 10 years from the time I first had my first symptoms to the time I was diagnosed, because doctors just didn't believe I would have MS, and yeah, whole thing, but yeah, that's what I had. So first thing is, the first thing I've learned and probably the biggest, most important thing I've learned since I've had MS is MS is not a fun disease and the biggest thing is no two people are the same when it comes to MS and I pretty much attribute this to the fact that it's our immune system that's mainly affected so that's doing a lot of the damage to our bodies and as we all know our immune systems are very different from person to person and where we grow up and things like that have a big effect on how our immune system functions. So a lot of stuff when it comes to MS doesn't work well because it's how our immune systems function from person to person. Medicine doesn't have the same effect on us and even the things that we see doesn't have the same effect. So one thing I've learned is there's no vitamin to take, there's no cure to take, there's no one fix all thing when it comes to MS. It's kind of like a trial and error based from person to person. And it's good to keep up with that trial and error with yourself instead of just going to the doctor and taking whatever they want and then just ignoring all your symptoms and how you feel saying, well, this is this is supposed to help me get better. Yeah, but if it's not helping you get better, it's probably making you worse. So you should probably keep up and see if you can try different things to see what actually works for you. But with that being said, today I'm going to talk about vitamins and what it actually does in my case. I've taken lots of different vitamins over the years, and currently I take 16 different vitamins every morning or during the day, but usually it's in the morning when I eat breakfast. And I'm saying that because vitamins are very important when you have MS. It's odd to think that as important as it is, it, they've had a bigger effect on how I feel on a daily basis and my actual well-being than the medication I've been on over the years since I've had MS and all the different kinds of medication, taking vitamins have actually have a bigger effect. Now I'm not here to recommend any specific vitamin or specific vitamin brand. I think for each person you should do a trial and error and see which vitamins actually work best for you, or which brands actually work best based on your body because some brands it's easier for some people to absorb the vitamins than other brands. But one vitamin that I'm going to recommend you take and I highly recommend this if you have MS, you should take vitamin D3. I take the gel capsules and I take about 10,000 times the daily recommended value because each capsule is I think like 4,000. But your body doesn't absorb all that. Some of it comes back, back out as you use the bathroom and a lot of it your body doesn't absorb. So taking that much is actually just, it's not a big deal. Your body like flushes most of that out anyway. The reason for this one is because vitamin D comes from the sun, but as you will find out if you've just been diagnosed with MS, the sun is no longer your friend because heat is no longer your friend. It's like your biggest enemy from now on. That is one of the one things we have in common is most people with MS don't do well in the heat and vitamin D is important to our bodies so the lack of vitamin D can cause depression and a lot of other things, but it can also cause your symptoms to be worsened. So making sure you have enough vitamin D is very important. Then you can have other blood tests done. When you have a regular checkups, you can see whatever else are you deficient in. And it becomes very important to make sure you keep up with that and make sure you're not deficient in anything because it will help a lot with your symptoms. For instance, I'm anemic in a sense, but According to my blood test, I am very anemic, but I don't feel anemic. But because my blood tests say I am anemic, I take iron pills, not very high dose ones, but just regular iron pills to help keep that up. 
So it's one less thing for me to have to worry about and it's one more thing to regulate in my system to keep it normal as possible. And that's what I recommend everyone with MS do is they go through things that they're deficient in, they can change their diet and they can take vitamins also to supplement this to make sure they don't drop below any deficiencies because every little thing helps. It may not seem like that at first but it does help, every single thing helps. I currently take 16 different vitamins because it's just random things I'm either deficient in or things that I've taken over time that have helped me feel better and I've decided to keep taking them. Yeah, taking that many vitamins all at once, your body won't absorb all of it, but it does absorb some of it. So it does help us a little when you take them all somewhat. And well, I believe they help a little bit. And every little bit counts, and every little bit helps when your body decides to go haywire. So yeah. Next thing about taking vitamins is when you take your vitamins. Most people take them in the morning, and I do too. But I generally take mine about an hour to two hours after I wake up. I find this is best. I don't take them first thing when I wake up. I used to, but I take them now about two hours after I wake up. And I feel that... I can feel a difference between when I take them as soon as I wake up to when I take them two hours after I wake up. But there's also the fact that I also now eat two hours after I wake up. So usually within the first hour to two hours of when I wake up, the only thing I will have is water. After that, I usually eat breakfast and take my vitamins while I'm eating breakfast. I also find that when you take vitamins, it's best to take them when you're eating something and not after or before you eat something. It just helps your stomach feel a little bit better. And also, I don't know if it helps get into your blood better, but it does help your stomach feel a little bit less queasy and less unease, like you're just taking a whole bunch of stuff. But that's it for now. I recommend going to the store and starting with vitamins that are important to you or important to your health where you're deficient in. I recommend vitamin D3 and vitamin A and E because those are what I started with and those I've always taken and they've always helped me out when it comes to MS and MS symptoms such as dizziness, nausea and all that stuff. They do help with that. So start there, then work your way around and see what vitamins you should take and then pick a brand that you like because that's really what's important is getting the vitamins into you and staying healthy. I'll see you next time.